Hello! This is Somsa again, and welcome to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup once again. And I'm sorry, before we go anywhere, I'm sorry for my voice, it's a bit down, I've been sick once again. The damn flu is getting to me, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, so I figured because we haven't played much Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup in a while I, that I would play some of this, and I've been... Uh, I've been planning to play this game more, but because I got sick, uh, I sort of couldn't because my voice was completely gone. Now I'm sort of I'm starting to feel a lot better, so I figured I would now record something new. Otherwise, we're going to have to upload a ton of Eldritch because that's the only uh, series that I have uh, video material for. So I st decided that I would f uh, record now that I have most of my voice back and I have some free time to make a video. So, uh, I've been thinking about changing up the strategies a bit because we've played uh, like spellcaster stuff. Uh, so I would play something different, uh, which would be the ranged stuff. We haven't done much of that because I don't usually play ranged uh, in dungeon cl uh, crawlers, uh, roguelikes or anything like that. Uh, but, uh, okay, uh, sorry about that, uh, but uh, now, uh, for some variety, I decided that I would play some of that for you, so I did a, I did a, a warm-up run today, and if we go to my uh, high scores, you can see this here, this is my run as a, uh, as a centaur hunter. And as you can see, I got pretty damn far. I got down on the 12th level of the dungeons, and I got 11,000 points. So yeah, I got tw over twice as deep as I have ever gotten, and I got a ton of points. I'm sorry I didn't record that run. I should always record. I'm going to keep that in mind now, uh, and now after this. But... Uh, Seriously, this was a this was an awesome run. It took one hour, and I got extra deep. I was up. It went so well. I had luck all the way down to the twelfth level, but then my luck uh, my luck ran out, uh, and uh, I died to a skeletal warrior because there was there was a band of warriors there, and I just couldn't escape them anymore. But uh, let's try to replicate some of that glory by playing a similar uh, similar setup. Or maybe I should change it up a bit. <coughs> um, centaurs are nice, and they are they are uh, skilled with ranged weaponry. Uh, but maybe some of these uh, other. Well, I mean, we could always play a human, but that's so... Uh, well, it's so mundane, it's so average. Let's play a centaur. And let's play a hunter. And uh, when I played this game, I... Uh, when I played my run, I started with the crossbow. The crossbow is a pretty nice uh, weapon to start out with. Uh, the only problem was that I ran out of ammo halfway through. So let's go with the bow instead. Okay, so hopefully I still remember all of this stuff. I should because I have uh, I played that uh, training run, so I know pretty much how the game works once again. Uh, so we're going to be mainly focusing on ranged combat instead of doing uh, a lot of melee stuff, and I don't have any spells at all. So we're going to go full ranged and. Uh, of course, the the beginning is always a bit similar. Damn it, my voice is starting to go already, or at least I'm feeling a lot. The I feel stuffed, basically. Uh, but hopefully, I will be able to do this just fine. But as you can see, uh, ranged is not actually bad. It it kills all kinds of things basically instantly, and. Many of these, especially these beginning enemies, they can't even uh, fight you back properly. And, uh, okay, so there's a 
cobalt and some hobgoblins. We're we're already on level two. And uh, I don't think there is much here that we really want. If we could find some uh, arrows, that would be really nice. But we should find arrows on lower levels as well. Okay, and some geckos. But yeah, thanks to the ranged weaponry, we can seriously... We can hammer these guys from far away, though this in this case I'm probably going to just slap them with my sword. I don't like them when they get close. And this should still be relatively easy. I also got to do some interesting religious stuff. Uh, maybe I should chop these, yes, all of them. <coughs> okay, and let's... Uh, uh, that's uh, shallow water, so yeah, let's let's just fire away. The problem with water is if it's deep and you're shooting something that is uh, that is uh, surrounded by deep water, you might lose your uh, uh, yes, all of these. Yes, thank you. Uh, you might lose your arrows, and I I want to avoid that as much as possible because you can seriously run out of uh, arrows when you're doing this stuff. And then you are going to have to work with various kinds of other ammunitions for your uh, for your weaponry. Okay, we're done exploring so we can go down the ladder. A giant mite. A large Acarin creature with poisoned mouth parts and thirst for uh, and a thirst for blood. We're, we're going to take care of that before it gets anywhere close to us. And the cobalt is also trying to kill me. Uh, let's go for intelligence, I think. Uh, oh, a leather-bound book. I think this is, yeah, this is high-level book. Uh, we're not going to do much with this. The books are not going to be interesting for us because we're not going to be casting any spells or anything like that. We're mostly just going to cook. Uh, oh, we found ourselves the first special, special guy. Uh, what, what were these guys called? They, they had a name of some sort, but I can't remember. Ho let's hope this guy's an easy one. Uh. What does he do, by the way? Uh huh. So a violent mu murderer kills for pleasure and profit. Well, are you going to die? Well, finally, that adder is going to be a bit problematic. I I'm going to just use the bow and see if I can sort of snipe it, like that. And uh, let's get all of this stuff. So we killed one of the special guys already, which is awesome. I killed a bunch of them uh, on that uh, awesome run. I killed like six, or pro possibly even more. I need a better melee weapon, I think. Uh, actually, let's see, check our skills. So, most of our training is going to go into bows, as it should, because we're going for mostly ranged stuff. But I do want some short blades. I I think we could st uh, we could probably just uh, turn off stealth entirely. I'm going to switch this to manual. So now I get to choose what is going to be focused on. And no, I don't want to, I want to just focus it, but I don't want to completely disable everything. And I just want this enabled. So I'm going to disable stealth, because I'm not going for stealth. This is no such thing. This run will not focus on stealth. If everything goes alright, if everything goes the way I want it to, we should be able to kill everything before it gets close to us. 
And that's what I'm hoping for. Also, we have a bunch of scrolls already. And we should drop off that rotten meat. Maybe I should start reading this. Okay, so that's amnesia. And let's check what this thing does. So this happens... Uh, this works for jewelry, armor, scrolls. This might be... This is not an identify because it only works for these kinds of things. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so... Uh, okay, interesting. So it's an, it is an un identify. I guess all of the rest of our stuff is already identified. Um, that's cool. Let's check what this po uh, potion does. So it's a potion of agility. Yeah, indeed, we only have these two weapons and these are by default uh, identified. Okay. What does this... Okay, so this is actually a, dis a dexterity ring. That's interesting, let's put it on. And let's wait just a bit to get some of our health back. We're just crushing these enemies. Absolutely crushing them. And this is the one of this is one of the things that I was really surprised about when I started playing this. Is that this is surprisingly powerful. I thought the ranged weaponry was a lot uh, weaker than this, but it's not actually, it's a... Oh, that's Sigmund. Oh no. Um, okay. So, Sigmund is one of the dangerous people. I'm not sure if I can take this guy on. Uh, we should... I think Sigmund... Oh yeah, Sigmund does do magic. Uh, and if I recall correctly, I should... I'm just not sure which... What that action was. Oh yeah, I can do this. So... Uh, currently we don't... Uh, yeah, we are, we are slightly resistant to hostile enchantment, so we do sort of resist... If he decides to cast uh, spells at us. But only to some extent. And we are bidding, be, uh, we're getting destroyed here. Um, I need to identify a potion that will help us. That's a potion of light. Not go that's not going to do much good. That's a potion of resistance. That's okay. And that's a potion of brilliance. We're 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 pretty much dead here. Uh, let's try to. I should run, I should run. Okay, I think I... Wait. What happened? Oh, I died. Damn. Okay, that didn't go too well. But we still got 7th place on our little high score list. I'm never going to beat that high score of uh, 11,000 points though. But let's go for another one. Are, are there anything else that works with... Uh, well, not really. I mean, we could go with... an elf. That is an option. Uh, so... This is sword and magic. Uh, sure. And we can do hunter. Let's let's go with the bow. So this means that we should be possibly able to cast spells. Uh, but we're probably not going to do that if we're going for a full... And there are already orcish idols here. And this is interesting. Elven robe and wizard hats. So it's as it's as if the game wanted me to play uh, play a spellcaster. Uh, no, I'm not going to fire if 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 the if these things are blocking my view. 
Okay, let's see if our elf can do a lot better. Well, at least a bit better. A lot better would be good because we died on the second dungeon level, which is not fine. And we have two scrolls, and these are scrolls of teleportation, so we are going to end up somewhere. And let's switch to the Elven Short Sword. And because we are an elf, we should have good uh, short play. Yep, we have an apti aptitude for it, so I can turn it on and we are going to get some short played skill. So this is probably going to be a bit more of a uh, ranged plus uh, swords set up. So I'm not going to go for complete purity here. I'm going to switch between the two uh, when I deem necessary.